Oh, well, thank you very much, MJ. Uh, winning jockey, Corne Orfa aboard Lovers of Rose. Corne, top ride. Uh, you and Richard really got stuck into it into the final 200, but obviously, gutsy Philly, and you did a top job. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. She, she did, you know, she, she went down really, really good and uh, spoke prior to the racing scene and said there wasn't going to be much pace. So wherever she comes, I think she's comfortable. Let her travel there. And uh, she came out smartly. She, she was happy to be in front. Then the lead changed halfway through the race and uh, she was traveling really good under me when I came to the straight. I knew I had a lot of horse under me. I just had to conserve her a little bit because it's her first run back from January. So, But she quickened really nice and she fought, she fought them really good when Richard joined her and she, she never gave up. Going down the bat straight, that you obviously went to the front, but then the chopped and changed going down the bat straight. Were you ever in worry or did you just trust what was under you the whole way? Not at all. She, uh, she was, like I said, she was really happy to be there in front. She picked the ears and she kind of slowed herself down. I, I think Grant thought maybe we were going a bit slow. He, he went around. It didn't make a big difference to me because she, she was traveling really good under me. And uh, it was nice that she actually had a lead coming into the straight, uh, seeing that she was off for a little bit. But like I said, I don't think it would have made a big difference if I had to lead the whole way. Just well done to Mr. Enyan. And a big thanks to, to him for supporting me a lot. And uh, to, to Wayne Mealing, to Etienne Braun and to Mr. Lang. Well done to all of them. Well done. Morning, Jock. I just want to give a big mention to my to my agent, uh, Rob Champion. He's he's been with me for ten years, and he's in the UK, still doing my rides and still doing a great job. So thanks very much. Corne Orfa, the winning jockey here for race number three aboard Lovers of Rose, as we cross over to the winning connections with Alistair Cohen. Thanks very much indeed, Devon. So here we go. Race number three has been won by Lovers of Rose. Well done to Greg Enyan and all the connections. Etienne Braun, Wayne Mealing, uh, part of the ownership here. And uh, also one other who will uh, reveal in just a moment. I've got blank. Greg, uh, come a little bit closer. Good training feed coming back from a layoff. Obviously expecting there to be a bigger picture with Lovers of Rose going forward this winter. Yeah, thank you. You know, I've been around a long time. I've learned how to bring them back without stressing them in gallops and all that. She had no grass work whatsoever. But she does good work, and in, in saying that, I want to say a very big thank you to my assistant, Kim. She rides as fully every day. Uh, now and again, I spoil corner and let him ride her. <laughs> but she, by and large, she rides him, her every day. And I mean, she knows how to get a horse fit as well. So, and you know, it, it, if you've got a plan, it, 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 it's easy to execute if you've got the right horse to do it. And she definitely is the right type of horse to do that. Is she going to follow the same program that she did 12 months ago, going through the remaining winter features? Yeah, look, I, we will, but I don't think we'll be as strenuous, stressful on her. You know, she she felt it towards the end of the season, and that's why I gave her the break. And um, but she's come back well. You know, she when she was at Durmville, the track wasn't that great at the time, as you know, and. She kept jarring her one, her one joint, but now it's beautiful again. And, you know, it's clear and she's sound as a bell. She's confident in herself. And, uh, yeah, I think she'll go on from there. She was blowing like a steam train, but she's got such, big, such a big heart. How does the rest of your day look? Because uh, a good friend of mine likes a bit of Catalea and I like a bit of Glee Club. What do you think? Yeah, I think both of them have got very big, uh, big chances. Glee Club was actually unlucky last time. The favourite came across her and took up her running. Otherwise, she, if she went, could have kept in a straight line, there's no doubt she would have been in the winner's box. So, you know, she's basically a winner without a penalty there. Well, they gave her a pound. So, you know, the handicapper can't keep the hands off a nice horse. So, yeah, I think she's in with a big chance. She's got a good draw and a uh, good jock. And I, th I th think she'll run very well. Thanks, Rick. Well played. Thank you very much. I just want to say well done to... Uh, Olympia Engelbrecht, who bred this. I've got the half brother, full brother. Sorry. That was lovely at the sales. It was August sale, wasn't it? He's a magnificent animal, and he's going the same way. Just they must just give me the chance to get her, get him where she is. He's the long way from racing, but he's, I would say, he's a proper classic type of horse. Same partner, same same madman. Yeah. Well done to Etienne. Well done to. To Mealing, Etienne's in Mauritius, his, wi uh, his wife, <laughs> his daughter's uh, 21st. And then John Lamb, he couldn't make it. Unfortunately, his wife ran the marathon this morning. So I think he's trying to resuscitate her. <laughs> well done, Greg. <laughs> Thank you. I forgot about John Lamb, of course, part of the ownership, uh, one of the golf guys. Let's get Wayne Mealing. Are you going to come and have a word? One of my first friends in Cape Town many years ago. Well done, Wayne. Yeah, nice, Ali. Thanks a lot. Of course, um, just well done to a trainer. He never gets enough credit. And then to Etienne, Natasha, happy 21st. And to John, 
well done with his wife running that full marathon today. And to my wife, uh, walking books at home. A happy 18th to you. Thank you, Ali. Have a good day. Well done to Wayne Mealing. Well done to all the team. Lovers of Rose has won another win for her career, win number five. And uh, it's actually a very good training feat coming back from a layoff over that trip against LA Maurice. Good win from a good filly.